Welcome, fifth graders, to lesson 3-21. I decided to change it up a little bit, uh, maybe a different color background, and we're not going to need the um, the graph paper for the first couple. And we might be able to do it without the graph paper, paper, but I just wanted to try a little different, just to look at something different. Um, today's lesson is about is again continuing with our exploration of story problems. And our, my question for you today is, how do do we use our problem, whoops, our problem s solving skills um, to solve multi-step story problems. Now, as you might be, um, as you might be thinking right now, if I say multi-step, that probably means more than one step. So these problems that we're going to be dealing with today are going to have multiple steps, at least two. Okay, most of them just have two. But in the future, you might have some that have ridiculous number of steps, like five or six that you have to keep track on. But today, we're only going to be focusing on two. We are also going to look at a couple of examples of story problems that either give us too much information or not enough information. And we will look at those and kind of say, hey, dude, what do we do with these and how do we solve them if we can solve them at all? But first, ladies and gentlemen, let's start with our review. And our review, what we're going to be doing is I want you just to look at these numbers, the numbers that I'm going to be writing, and I want you to just solve them as quickly as I can, as not, not I can, um, as you can. And I want you just to do mental math and do these quickly. So I'm just going to write them down, and um, as soon as I write them, you can say them, or write, just write down the answers. You don't have to write down the problems. You do, do have to write down the answers, though. All right, so here we go. First one is 7,000 plus 10. Then we have 20,000 plus 5,000. I'm going to put equal signs here. Um, then we have 50, I mean 500,000. plus 1,000. And then we have 40 million plus 1. And then we have 7,000 minus 10. We have 20,000 minus 5,000. Then we have 500,000 I'm going to skip here because that one might be a little bit larger. 500,000 plus 10. And then we have 40 million minus 1. So why don't you pause the video? Um, and if you haven't already, I want you to just write down the answers for each one of those. And hopefully this is something that you can do without really putting a lot of thought into because this should be ver mental math. All right, let's fill in the answers here. The first answer should be 7,010. The next one should be 25,000. Here we're going to have 50. We're going to have 501,000. You're going to have 4, 40 million, 1. You're going to have, let's see, 7,000 minus 10. You're going to have 3, 1990 uh, 20,000 less 5,000 you're gonna have 15,000 uh, 50 500,000 plus 10 you're gonna be 500,000 10 and 40 million less 1 you're gonna have 39 million nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine all right, hopefully you got all of those right. Um, hopefully you could do those rather relatively quickly. If not, it's something that this is mental math. This is something you should be able to do rather quickly. So one of those things that we should really work on our skills, especially when it comes to these problems right here where we're just adding or subtracting. Some of these might be a little bit more difficult. All right, stay tuned for uh, Lesson 3-21, uh, video number two.